Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through 10 easy chalk marker lettering effects that anyone can do. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. I've also put together two helpful cheat sheets that you can download. I'll leave a link on the video and in the video description. And they are a 3D block lettering shaded areas cheat sheet, as well as a highlight and shadow cheat sheet. So one question I get asked pretty often is where to put these highlights and where to put the shadow. So all you have to do is reference these sheets and you'll know exactly where they go. I've got a left side highlight and then a right side shadow. So everything in blue, that's where you wanna put your shadows on your letters and everything in pink, that's where you're gonna put your highlights. And for any type of 3D block lettering that you do, just reference the sheet and you'll know where to draw those lines and where to shade those areas. So once again, the link for this is in the video description. So just hit that link and you can download both of these cheat sheets. Okay, so I am using the Casa chalk markers for this. They come in a whole bunch of different colors. So for this one, I'm going to be using the white, the pink, the yellow, the purple, and the blue. I'm also using their chalkboard black contact paper. You can see on the back, it's pretty handy. It's already got a grid on it. So you can cut it down to whatever size you need and it is erasable. So I'll show you at the very end how to remove your lettering after it's done. Really easy cleanup and I also have a really helpful tip to share if you have any trouble markings that maybe don't come off quite as easily I've got a handy little trick on how to remove those areas okay so I'm just gonna set all of this aside and we're going to get started so you probably noticed that I had this cup of water at the beginning and I also have a paintbrush. So this paintbrush is a number zero Winsor & Newton Cotman round paintbrush. It's a watercolor brush. And I had this idea because chalk markers are water soluble, some extra ideas that you can do with chalk markers that I hadn't really ever seen before. And they worked out exactly as I was hoping. So I wanna share those with you. Those are towards the end of these enhancement tips. So if you don't have a paintbrush or a cup of water handy, that's totally fine. You'll still be able to follow along with the material majority of these enhancements, but just a heads up that that's going to get added in. All right, so we're ready to get started. The very first enhancement is block letters. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make consistent block letters with your chalk markers. So you just wanna give them a shake. I always use this area up in my top right corner to kind of pump out some ink just to get started, some of my chalk. And now I can just write it out. And what you wanna do is just space your letters just a little bit more than you normally would because they're going to end up being thicker, which is going to naturally cause them to be closer together. So just keep that in mind as you're writing out whatever word you're writing out. So I'm just gonna write out the word chalk. All right, so in order to convert this into block letters, all you wanna do is continue around your base letters and you're just going to go around the outside once and the inside once and that will keep that thickness uniform throughout all of your letters if you do the exact same thing on each letter you finish it off right here so i'm just going to come through and do the rest of these letters the exact same way Okay, so I want this to fully dry before we move on to our second enhancement. So while this is drying, I'm going to write out my second word and it's going to be all script. So you can see the difference between a blocky sans serif all caps lettering versus script lettering. So I'm just gonna write out the word lettering right underneath chalk. Okay, and just to add a little bit of extra visual interest to my lettering, I'm going to implement that kind of faux calligraphy look. So I'm going to add one extra line of weight wherever there's a downstroke. So by downstroke, I mean when you're coming up on the L right here, this is an upstroke, and as it comes down, this is your downstroke. Pretty simple. So on each letter, so my E is gonna come around and this is my downstroke on my E, my downstroke's on my T. So for every one of these letters, I'm just going to add one extra line of extra weight on my downstrokes. Okay, so I'm going to let that fully dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to implement our second enhancement, which is an outline. And we're going to apply the outline onto our block lettering right up here. So I'm gonna grab my white chalk marker, give it a good shake, pump it out a couple of times get the ink flowing. And now I'm just going to come around, just be hyper aware of where your hand is moving because as this is drying, I don't wanna smudge or smear anything. So just keep an eye on wherever your hand is resting. So I'm just going to come around each one of these letters and do one line around the entire letter with the marker. Okay. 
Okay, so now we've got our outline all implemented and our bottom lettering, the script lettering is all dry now, so I don't have to worry so much about where my hand is resting. And the next thing we wanna do is implement our third enhancement, which is a 3D effect. So what you wanna do is go and download this cheat sheet. Once again, it's in the video description, so go and click on that link and you can access all the cheat sheets that come with this tutorial. So I'm just going to be referencing where my outline falls and then I'm going to reference it again when we shade our outline. So I can see right here for my C, it's coming around the top part. I've got some in the middle and then it comes up from the bottom. So I'm just going to keep following this guide for where all of my block letters end up and I'm going to implement this in all my letters and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. And while that's drying, we're going to start using our paintbrush for one of our other enhancements. So the paint, the first paintbrush enhancement that I wanna share with you is a depth lettering effect. That's what I'm calling it. And what you're going to do is just grab a little bit of water on the tip of your paintbrush. And wherever you have strokes that overlap other strokes, so this upstroke right here happens before this downstroke. So since this downstroke is coming down second, it's going to create a shadow on the upstroke underneath it. So I'm just going to pull some of this paint away right on the edge of where this downstroke's hitting, and it's going to give this 3D depth effect as I do that. And I'm just going to keep wiping off any excess chalk on my paintbrush off on this paper towel over here as I work. So I'm just going to come through the entire word and pull some of this away. So you can see it's pulling that chalk away from the edge. And as it dries, it's going to simulate this idea of depth because it's black underneath. Okay, so that is our fourth enhancement. And now that this is all dry up here, I can add in some color to the 3D block effect. So I'm going to grab my blue marker first, give it a shake, and I'm going to put blue on all the edges. So you can just follow along with your cheat sheet right here on where to shade. So I'm just going to keep all the edges all blue and then anything that's on the underside, I'm going to make purple. So I'm just gonna come through and add that color to my shading now. Okay, and now I'm gonna come in with my purple and just finish off any areas that I still need to do. All right, so we have our shading all complete into our 3D block. And the next thing we wanna do is introduce an ombre effect. So I use the paintbrush again for this ombre effect. So I'm going to grab my yellow and I'm kind of going to use this area up here in my upper right as a paint palette for everything else that I do moving forward. So I'm just going to lay down a bunch of color up here and just use the color that I'm squeezing out of my paint marker up here to introduce that ombre effect into my block letters. So you'll see exactly what that looks like. So I'm just gonna get a good amount right here. Grab my paintbrush, wet it a little bit, get some yellow on my paintbrush, and then just kind of paint it in and bring it down. And as your yellow starts mixing with your pink, it'll start giving you an orange color. And I don't want my orange color to happen until it's about part way down. So I want this top part to still be pretty yellow up here. So I'm just gonna lay on the yellow a little bit heavier up here. And then rinse off my brush and then have it naturally mix with the pink so it fades nicely down here. All right, grab some yellow again, the top part of my H, I want it to be very yellow. And then have it transition into orange kind of around the middle point. Okay, so that's how to do an ombre effect. So the next one we're going to do is going to be applied to our script lettering right here. And I want you to refer to the cheat sheet 
This is the highlight cheat sheet right here. So it's the pink one. So whenever you wonder where a highlight's going to go, just reference, find the letter right here and reference where it's going to go on that letter. So we're going to use our paintbrush again. I'm going to squeeze out some white chalk marker right up here. Give myself a whole bunch. All right, I've got a whole bunch of white up there. So we're gonna start with that. And you just wanna grab some water on the tip of your paintbrush, grab some white, and then start adding highlights, just a very thin amount to your script lettering. And this will give the illusion that it's also 3D because we're going to add a, a shadow onto it right after we do the highlight. So I'm just gonna make sure that my white is pretty opaque on here. Okay, we've got our highlight all on there now. And now we're going to introduce our shadow. So refer to the blue cheat sheet right here. So wherever you see the blue, that's where you wanna place your shadow. So I'm going to alter this just slightly by creating a floating shadow. And what a floating shadow means is that there's a little bit of space. So I'm leaving a gap between where the letter ends and the shadow begins. So you're going to see that space throughout wherever I put the shadow. And I'm going to try my absolute best to keep that space consistent, the width of that space consistent consistent throughout my entire word as I'm placing those what I call floating shadows. So I'm going to use purple for this and once again I'm going to be using my paintbrush. So just lay some more color down right here. So basically same thing we just did with the highlights only these are going to be shadows and once again there's just a little bit of space. So it's basically the opposite wherever you've got your highlight it's going to be the opposite side where you place your shadow. All right, so we just have two enhancements left. So the inline, all you need is your regular paint marker for this. So I've got my white one right here. And since my letters aren't super chunky, I'm going to use my inline as dots instead of just regular lines. And since I've got quite a bit of chalk built up on these because we did the ombre right here, it lends itself to be kind of smudgy when you're adding even more chalk on top of it. So dots are a really nice go-to enhancement that are really easy to do. So I'm just going to shake up my white pump a little bit out and now I'm just going to put dots along the inside and this is going to be my inline. Okay, so super simple with these. And just another quick tip, you wanna make sure that your ombre is totally dry before you put those dots in because just like watercolor, if you put the chalk on wet chalk, it's going to kind of bleed out and it won't look as crisp as these dots are coming out right now. So just make sure it's all dry underneath and then you can put your dots on and you'll be good to go. All right, so the last thing we need to do is just introduce our paint streak texture to our script lettering down here. So I'm going to be using my purple once again and my yellow. So I'm going to shake out my purple and my yellow and my little paint palette right here, and then we'll be all set to introduce those paint streaks. All right, so these are really fun and super simple to do. You're just going to grab a little bit of water on the tip of your brush, grab some of your paint, and you're just going to randomly put little paint streaks in your letters. And it's a really effective trick right here to make your chalk lettering look unlike any other chalk lettering out there. So these are really, really random. I'm just making sure, so I've got an E right here. So if I put some yellow at the top of this E, maybe I put yellow at the bottom of this one. And since I've got two T's together, if I put some at the top of this one, I'm going to make sure that I don't put any at the top of this one. So they look more random than, you know, super matchy matchy. Okay, and then we're just gonna come in with the purple and do the exact same thing. So 
So that covers all 10 of our chalk marker effects that anyone can do. So the last thing we need to do is just clean up our paint palette right here. You can see it looks pretty messy. So we're just going to get rid of it. I'm going to share my tip for getting rid of any paint residue that may be left after you try and erase away with just water. So since these are water soluble, they should come off pretty easily with just water. So I'm gonna wipe these down with water and I'm going to show you what that residue looks like and then how to get rid of it. All right, so I'm just gonna wipe this away and being very, very careful not to hit my actual lettering at all. And I'm not sure if you can see it. I can see it super up close, but in case you can't, there's kind of a few outlines of where I had the paint right here. So if that's showing up for you, this also happens if you have lettering that's been on your contact paper for a while and then you choose to erase it later on, you'll notice those marks stay quite a bit more than you know the paint that we already had wet right here that we wiped away pretty quickly. So if that happens, I use what's called a magic eraser. I'll link to this in the video description. And all you wanna do is just wet the tip of it just a little bit and then you wanna scrub those areas and it'll take it right off. These actually are magic. They work amazingly for something like this, where if you try even household cleaner, it doesn't take it off, but these magic erasers, they work every time. So that's my little secret tool right there. So that is 10 chalk marker effects that anyone can do. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and don't forget to head on over to my site, every hyphen Tuesday.com for even more design and lettering tutorials and freebies. Once again, everything mentioned in this video is right in the video description. Just click that link and you can have access to everything, including links to these chalk markers, the contact paper, the brush that I'm using, that magic eraser, as well as the free downloads to those cheat sheets, the highlights, the shadows, and then the 3D block effect. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.